Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Uh, we've already shuffled the deck for time purposes, so let's get right into your reading. Aries, let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of December 2019. Now your first card in regards to your finances, we have the Karma card here. So the Karma card could represent um, directly connected to finances. It could represent if you've been experiencing obstacles in regards to your finances, whether it's getting a promotion, whether it's getting noticed at work, um, the Karma card is the representation of the Justice card. So whatever situation you feel you have been treated unfairly or unjustly, for the month of December, there's going to be some changes coming about um, where you're going to be left feeling like finally they're taking notice or you're going to start to feel progress being able to move forward, uh, get that raise, get that recognition, um, whatever, like I said, whatever it is that you've been working with or struggling with in regards to your finances will definitely start to improve for the month of December. Now, in regards to communication with the element of air, you have the hanged man. So the hanged man could represent um, feeling a bit stuck in a situation, and it could be very well connected to your finances, um, as we do have, again, the karma card that I pulled out. Um, the hanged man is almost a need for you to step back and disconnect from emotional attachment to the situation, be able to see it from a clear perspective or a different perspective. It also speaks about having the need to not be very quick into making choices or making decisions. So be more methodical for the month of December when it comes to making changes or making decisions, Aries. Now, the card uh, representing your challenge for this month is the High Priestess. So the High Priestess um, is a representation as a challenge. Listen to your intuition, Aries, and be, again, like I said, be more methodical for the month of December. I would highly encourage you guys to um, really think about before making decisions or even the way you express yourself, um, the, the High Priestess could represent seeking spiritual help or guidance. It can also represent uh, if you guys are currently dealing with someone that is spiritually inclined. It could be that you feel that you put effort, but still there's no movement or no progress. And with the high priestess, it represents the person being very spiritually awakened. So it could represent that, in fact, um, it's not that they're not interested in you or that they're not wanting to pursue uh, the further connection but it just means that it's going to take a little bit more time for you uh, to pretty much get them to trust you or get them to open up and to see that you're not looking for something temporary, but that you're actually looking something uh, stable is what they're looking for. Um, so we have two very spiritual cards here, and they're both actually the three cards that we pulled out are major arcanas. So I feel that at the present time, Aries, there is a lot of changes that are coming for you. Um, and these are all out of your control, meaning it's spirit and the universe bringing to you opportunities. Perhaps for some of you guys, if you find or if you have found yourself the past couple of years, uh, perhaps not having a lot of consistency or stability, whether it's in finances or whether it's in relationships, it could be that you are usually drawn to a specific type of person. With these cards, it's almost like becoming more spiritually inclined or having a stronger magnetic pull towards someone that could bring to you a closer connection to spirituality. Now, your emotions, you have the Seven of Pentacles. So again, the Seven of Pentacles, it's not an easy connection. It could represent having to really put in the effort, having to really um, pretty much put hard work into uh, getting that person to open up or getting that person to see you in a different aspect. But with the Seven of Pentacles, there is a promise for something long term. So again, what they're trying to tell you here is, yes, perhaps you're used to conquering very quickly or very easily, 
with the high priestess and the seven of pentacles it's not going to be that easy to convince this person but if you actually are genuinely connected to them genuinely interested in them uh, the rewards are promised there there is definitely very uh, strong indication of something turning into long term so again if you're looking for fun whatever it is um, this is not the person to be wasting your time with because they are definitely going to put they're going to make you put in the work area <laughs> all right so we're going to pull out uh, from the moonology oracle cards um, a card that is uh, your spirit's advice for you now let's see what that card is oh wow look at aries this is your card it's time to take action new moon and aries so there again like i said a lot of new beginnings for you guys a lot of momentum you may start to experience a lot of restlessness at night not being able to sleep not being able to rest uh, all of this has a lot to do with the high energy that you're going to be experiencing. And again, new moon is always new beginnings. Um, with those new beginnings, sometimes we have to uh, part ways with old patterns or old behaviors. So again, if you are in the pursuit of someone in particular, and this person is not making it easy for you at all, what Spirit is telling you is that it's time for you to venture on this path towards something that is going to be more fulfilling to you. It's time to take action. Uh, this could represent, again, that of having to do with the work situation. If you're still dealing with difficulties in the work scenario or in the work field, uh, whether it's blockages, whether it's projects not coming about or not being easy, you will be accomplishing all of that for the month of December. So very, very strong connection um, and I do see you guys very grounded, Aries. So my advice for December 2019 is, again, be more methodical in when it comes to your decisions, when it comes to making decisions. Um, try the best you can not to frustrate yourself. Try the best you can uh, not to, even when you feel like you must take action um, and there's resistance, don't pay no mind to that resistance. Surrender to the process let go of having to be in control and you will quickly start to see that new pathway starts to open up or new opportunities removing those obstacles that you're currently going through okay so i hope you guys enjoyed these readings i do want to let you guys know that uh if you guys follow me on instagram we will be doing one question live readings for free on december the 22nd at 7 p.m california time this is going to be the second year we do this um, so I'm definitely encouraging you guys, if you guys don't follow me, go follow me on Instagram. And we're also going to be giving away free giveaways for the month of December. I will be announcing that on my next spell video. So you guys stay tuned for that as well. So we'll see each other soon. Bye.